We are now in Labadeville, and the first people to settle in the area were believed to have been members of three distinct Native American tribes. The people of the Washa, Chawasha, and Chittimacha were around Baya Lafourche for a few hundred years prior to European arrival, and the Chittimacha specifically were composed of four powerful bands that would roam around the vicinity west of Baya Lafourche. By the year 1700, when Europeans arrived, the Chittimacha would be one of six leading tribes in Louisiana. They had a culture that was unique to other tribes in the area, and the women were expert basket makers and weavers of cane mats. There was also a strict caste system with tribal chiefs and nobles being forbidden to marry a commoner. They would build burial mounds near Lake Verrette, just outside of Labadeville. Tensions between the Chittimacha and French settlers soured fairly quickly and would reach a fever pitch after a band of Chittimacha would murder a Catholic priest, a slave, and three Canadian travel companions. In response to this, Governor Bienville would incite the other tribes by giving them supplies, ammo, and weapons. These tribes then began to attack the Chittimacha and drive them further west of the bayou. Later, the rival tribes would make several successful attempts at enslaving members of the Chittimacha, and warfare broke out intermittently until Bienville demanded peace to be reached in 1718. By the time Louisiana was sold to the U.S. in 1803, there were only about 100 members of the Chittimacha in the entire territory. By 1860, all of them had been killed or left the territory completely. Unfortunately, there isn't much recorded history of the other two tribes mentioned. The Washa and the Chawasha had villages along Bayou Lafourche, and the Chawasha had their principal settlement in this area near Labadeville. By 1721, there were only about 50 Washa warriors left, and the Chawasha had even less. All of the records I've come across report that by 1880, there was only one person left from both of these tribes. The French, followed by the Spanish, would settle along Baya Lafourche with a large portion settling near Labadeville, where we are now. When the Spanish took control, most of the people in Louisiana didn't agree and caused a good bit of trouble. One story I came across claims that there was a man in the vicinity with the last name of Saint Amant that was particularly averse to the Spanish. He was loudly against these new rulers, so much so that Saint Amant placed a keg of gunpowder in the doorway to his home and defied officers. He said he would blow himself and the officers up if they tried to subdue him. So at the behest of Saint Amant's community friends, the Spanish left them alone. In the 1760s, the area would then become the new home for the first Acadian refugees arriving in Louisiana that would later become known as Cajuns. Joining the Acadians, Spanish and French, were the Germans from the Côte des Allemands, or the German coast of the Mississippi River. Labadeville takes its name from a pioneer resident, Jean-Louis Labadie, and was originally called Brulee Labadie. One of the more striking images when you arrive in Labadieville is the St. Philomena Catholic Church behind me. The long history of Catholicism goes beyond available records, but the first mission held in Labadieville was performed by Father Charles Menard in 1842. In 1855, Father Cyprian Venisat was named the first pastor, and soon after, he decided to form a religious community of Native women named the Institute of the Immaculate Conception in 1871. Two years prior, in 1869, the new Belmont Baptist Church was founded just down the road from St. Philomena. Present-day St. Philomena Church was built in 1888, and the cemetery dates from the early years of the parish. The founder of Labadee is buried there, and a monument to those who died in the yellow fever epidemic still exists. St. Philomena School provided Catholic education for more than 100 years from its beginning in 1871 until it closed in 2005. This place would not be spared from the unholy act of war when the Union and Confederate forces met at Georgia Landing. It was the first major battle on Baya Lafourche during the Civil War. Confederate forces under General Mouton concentrated along the property line of the Georgia Plantation and the Himalaya Plantation called Texana Road. The Battle of Georgia Landing would result in a Union victory, but the fighting was far from over. We couldn't bring you this information without your support on Patreon, and we'd like to thank those who have contributed and encourage anyone watching this video to consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash Louisiana Dread. 
For more Louisiana history, horror, folklore, and culture, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website, louisianadread.com, where you can get shirts like this. I'm Kyle Crosby, and this is Louisiana Dread Quick History.